guys, welcome back to Spruce News. So today I'm going to be talking about the dreaded cold sore. So this is a video which is going to help you if you do get cold sores or you've just got a cold sore and you've never had them before, hopefully this will help you understand what you can do to get rid of them or to help heal them. So when I've seen so many YouTube videos because I am one of those people that Google top tips on how to get rid of your cold sore first because I suffer from cold sores, I have done since I was about two or three and this is something that I hate, like it's one of the one thing about me that really really just I hate it, I hate it and I can't do anything, I can't do anything about it which is also very annoying but it's just one of those things in life you just have to deal with it. So hopefully this video will help you if you're new to having a cold sore or you don't know how to deal with it or you want some tips on how you can if you've had them and you can't get rid of them and it just you're continuously getting them. So this is just kind of a few top tips for you on how to heal or get rid of your cold sore first. So let me just get into it. So first of all, let me tell you what a cold sore is. I have to say, when I was growing up, and I used to get cold sores quite a lot, and it was a hormonal thing, I think, rather than anything else. And I used to get, when I used to have a cold sore, there's a few comments that a few boys used to say to me when I was younger, and it always was something sexual, it was always referenced to something sexual, because obviously cold sores are a form of herpes, and a lot of people, when they think of herpes, think of an STD, they think of, something really disgusting and you've obviously had sex because you've got a cold sore so because you, you've got herpes and it's just a real stupid childish thing that happened to me when I was younger so if anyone says that to you and you're young and you get cold sores just tell them to go and do one because it's just it's a horrible thing okay so a cold sore is a small and somewhat painful blister that usually appears upon your mouth. You can get it inside your mouth, but I think it's called a, a canker sore or something like that. It sounds like a dinosaur, that does. Um, but I think if you get a form of sore inside your mouth, it's not a cold sore, it's, it's close to something else, I believe. So obviously a cold sore, I've got one right now, it's on this side of my mouth. Usually I get them this side and they're terrible when they're this side of my mouth, but it's here at the moment, which is very odd. They're a kind of a group of blisters which usually show up around your lips, so it can appear anywhere on your lips. They don't always show up just on your lips. They can sometimes be inside the inside your mouth, on the face, or inside or on your nose. This is what Google says, so I'm googling it. But I was researching that when you have a sore inside your mouth, I think it's close to something else. I may be incorrect, or it can be something else. I think I'm just confusing you. But anyway, you can get it inside your nose or your eyes, your face, and that's usually because people, um, when they get a cold sore, it can be really itchy and it burns to begin with. You get like a tingling sensation when you know you're getting a cold sore. And most people have a tendency to touch it and then they'll touch different parts of their face. And obviously, when it's at that point, when it's tingling and you've got a burning sensation, you, it's the worst thing for you to touch anywhere else in your body after you've touched your cold sore because it will spread. It, it just will spread. It's very infectious. So that's why they say don't share drinks with anyone, don't kiss anyone, don't literally anything that you could possibly share that will touch your mouth, do not share with others because you can spread it that way. I think the infection, as soon as it starts scabbing, you know it's healing, so I think the infectious part of a cold sore is gone at that stage. How do you get rid of a cold sore? So obviously, as soon as you get a cold sore, you're stuck with cold sores for life. Not everyone gets them um, frequently. You can get them quite frequently. You can get them once a year, twice a year. I get them usually about three or four times a year. So I get cold, I get cold sores when I'm stressed. I get cold sores when I eat um, chocolate and peanuts together, so like M&M's, Snickers bars, you name it, anything that's got peanuts and chocolate combined causes me to break out. I usually have to eat them excessively for that to happen, but it does. And almonds, almonds are a killer. I could literally just eat one almond and the next day I have a cold sore. It's just, I don't know what it is. 
but there we go. What I usually do when I get a cold sore and how you can heal them. So first things I usually do is I never apply anything to my mouth that can I can kind of infect. So I won't wear lipstick or anything like that. I do have two lip balms which I use when I do get cold sores because I find that when I get cold sores my lips tend to go extremely dry in general. I use the Burt's Bees Replenishing Lip Balm and then the Burt's Bees Ultra Conditioning. So when I first break out I use this one because it's ultra conditioning and my lips are extremely dry at this point. I don't ever use this on my cold sore but I do use it on the rest of my mouth because it just helps moisturise the rest of my mouth when I can't wear anything at all on my lips if that makes sense. And then I use the replenishing one when my cold sore is scabbed over and I can kind of just moisturise my lips so it's just I usually use those but that's not an, a necessity that's just something that I do. And then there's a few different products that I use when I get a cold sore, but I do have one product that is it's just wonders and it really does help. So the first thing that I use is um, Zavirax. So I don't know whether you've heard of Zavirax before, but this is kind of the bee's knees when it comes to cold sore healing. It's such a fantastic product. It comes in a little tube like this. But you can get a pump, I think, but my pharmacy just has a tube. It's not too expensive. Well, for this, it cost me £4, but literally this will last me about three or four times of having a cold sore, and I apply it every day, and I keep applying it about four or five times a day. So there's that, and that is incredible. When I use this, if I use this as soon as the tingle starts, it just completely clears my um, cold sore in about five or six days. It doesn't work wonders on me anymore, but I think it's because I've had cold sores for so long, my body's just getting used to this product. But there is that, and if you have just got a cold sore, definitely go to the pharmacy. You don't have to get it over the counter, you can just buy it in store, and it just costs you about four pounds. I also use Blistex Relief Cream, which looks like that. And I usually use this product once my cold sore starts healing. So this can help kind of with your cold sore, but it's not as strong as Virax, but it is a very good cream to use, especially if you've got really cracked lips, because I know some people do suffer with that. And then I have just a standard cold sore cream from Morrison's. So Morrison's, if you're obviously not from the UK, is like a supermarket. So this is just a standard cold sore cream. It's very similar to Zavirax, it's just a cheaper version. This cost me about three pounds and it's very, very good. It's very similar to Zavirax. Zavirax is, I would say, probably a little bit stronger, although I think, I don't know whether it's just me, but the ingredients are the same, so I don't know, I think it might just be in my head that I think Zvirax is better, but this is a cheaper option, more affordable option, and it's very, very good. And then when I use creams on my mouth, I tend to t use ibuprofen and paracetamol, so I'd take two ibuprofen when it's really bad, it just helps with pain relief. So it's a very good tablet to take when you're first having a cold sore, because it does help relieve that itchiness and the pain. Then if it's really bad, I'd take an ibuprofen with a paracetamol because it's just, it, it does help with the pain. But if it's not too painful, you don't necessarily need to take this, but it does, does definitely help. Okay, so those are things that I take usually just for relief, but there is one product which I got from the doctors, which is incredible. And I do believe this is going to be a life-changing product for me so I've only just been recently taking it but I've heard so many incredible things about it that if you could get your hands on it I would I would definitely recommend it and these are I don't know if I can pronounce this correctly Ciclovar tablets a Ciclovar tablets I don't know whether I'm pronouncing that correctly I'm, I'm not a doctor I have no idea but um, these you meant to take these when you are you can, I know a few people that take these every day, they get them on repeat prescription, they take one every day and they've, ne they've not had a cold sore in years. And then I know some people that do take them when they first feel the tingle and they literally take this 
the course for it's 25 tablets you're meant to take five tablets a day for five days and you're literally your cold sore disappears and it helps boost your immune system to get rid of cold sores repeating if that makes sense so you can never get rid of cold sores out of your system but this will help prevent you getting a cold sore for months which is incredible so i am testing this out and i will let you know how it works on me but i have heard wonders about it and it's going to be an incredible life-changing product i hope that these work for me i really really do and i will let you know how amazing they are and whether I would recommend you going to your doctors but regardless I think you should go to your doctors about it anyway because they may be able to advise you and give you appropriate medical you know recommendations that I can't give you because I'm not a doctor or a pharmacist or anything like that but hopefully this will help you and hopefully this video has helped you I'm sorry I just completely waffled on but thank you so so much for watching and have a fantastic day bye